this is the fourth snowfall of the year, 2024. It's about an inch and a half. Actually, maybe just an inch. So, just a nuisance, really. Either way, I'm going to use my electric snowblower and just clear it out. And as quickly as the snow fell, the day later, it's 38 degrees, snow just melts here. Hey guys, welcome once again to another episode of Mowers and Blowers! Calm, cool, don't get the blood pressure going early in the morning. Anyway, as you saw from my previous episode, previously on Mowers and Blowers, A lot of play too. Um, and I put the good one, the sector gear mount or much better condition. <laughs> With a better one. And <laughs> Which is what I'm. And I made it just lawn track. Mowers and blowers. You guys figured out exactly what I was doing with my secret project. I'm actually making a six wheeler, not a six by six, although I thought about it, but it would take way too much work. For what? You know what I mean? It's just a theme tractor. So I'm just making it a six wheeler. We're gonna, today we're going to mount this fifth and sixth wheel onto the tractor in the rear by uh, drilling holes with this part here onto the frame of that. For me to properly measure the height and of the fender and all that, I wanna put 20s on the rear. These are 20s here, these are 18s. Because they're 18s, they're gonna be a couple of inches shorter in height distance between this wheel and that wheel. So I have to get the proper measurement. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take these 18 wheelers off of this. And I'm gonna go in the back um, shed where I have that red and orange tractor that I fixed this uh, previously. Those have 20s on them. I don't care which ones I sell, whether they have 18s or 20s on them, but I need the 20s for this project. So I'm gonna take these two wheels off Go to the backyard, swap them with that tractor, bring the 20s back out here. Then we'll have a proper measurement and then we'll get to taking these wheels off, putting this on a jack or something like that so it holds it at the right height. Connect this to that. Just do some measuring to make sure I connect it right. And then we'll see about mounting this thing to here and then making some kind of a rear bed deck dump thingamajig up here so that we could use it for utilities picking up stuff, hauling stuff, all that stuff. I was tempting to take this wheel off. It just would not come off. I was banging and banging it, and look what I did. The entire transmission shaft came out. So that's a big problem. And I basically didn't even have to take this wheel off because look, I got a 20 sitting right here. <laughs> Such an asshole. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> this is not broken, but it's a pain in the ass because there's a C-clip that attaches to this on the inside of the transmission. Basically, all the banging made it come off. So for me to be able to sell this tractor, I'd have to fix this transmission. <laughs> How do I get myself into these messes? You know what I mean? Not that this was ready to sell anyway. It's not. But uh, it's just more work for me. You know what I mean? So to get back in there, I got to... Take the bottom of that transmission out, put the shaft back in, find a clip, clip it back onto this groove. And that way this whole shaft won't come back out again. 
nevertheless still can't get this wheel off <laughs> that's a problem <sighs> you know what i'm thinking now thinking that maybe i should use the transmission oh man what a delay i'll have to think about this for a bit so i just shoved the the shaft back in there looks like uh when i get done with this project i'm gonna have to open up that transmission or something and fix it uh, that'll be interesting actually i've never actually done that before so anyway i'm gonna leave that 20 on there i took the 20 from here so i have my 20 for the other one i also was in the back shed and i noticed that i had this rear fender from an old style uh you know lt4000 with this really nice hood that's more squarish that would look more military than the round one i have so i might consider using these parts to fabricate uh the look of uh this current project the six wheeler all right that kind of sucked my blood pressure must be high right now so as you saw i created more work for myself by breaking a perfectly working sellable tractor <laughs> to now a one with a broken transmission when you have something unfortunate you just have to look at it as hey that's another video you can make about something that you've never done before and that's the only way I could look at it. <laughs> the only thing that uh, that makes me feel better is that that wasn't ready to sell anyway because I still had to paint had to paint it. You know? Anyway, so now we're the job at hand, putting two twenties on this rear part so I can kind of measure and fit it properly. Also, I'm going to try some different parts to see if I want to make it look better because as you see this hood, this is the rounded kind of modern hood. I want to make this look as military as possible. So having the square body type hood may be better. And also I'd like to make some front fenders. So I got these things, maybe I can cut them and make front fenders for the front wheels. That would look really unique. So as you saw, I tried a lot of different combinations with three different deck lids, right? Um, fenders, I mean. And looks like this extra one that I had for off a very unique LT1000 where it didn't attach to the foot, the foot, uh, um, you know, the foot stays, you know, the platform with the, it was, you know, separate um, from, from stock, you know, it was very unique. And so I figured I'd flip it over and it perfectly, uh, well, I had to move the seat bracket up a little bit. I tried different holes that were accommodating it. And I have one right here, which, which is perfect right here. You see how before when I had that other one, the, the original gray one, it came down like here and it looked kind of off. You know what I'm saying? At least here, this is a nice straight line. You know, the deck is level somewhat, right? I'm going to make another bracket over here. I'll hold this up because it's kind of floppy but i think that once i put place my platform over here it'll be better but i i kind of like how that swoops down the fender that covers the rear like that and it's you know pretty much you know level with this uh i might make some kind of a sheet metal thing that goes like that to to complete this 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 you know this fender like that later on but i need to first attach this to that so um Gonna have to jack it up to this level and mark it so that it's perfectly like that. Yeah. What, what do you guys think? You guys like the green one? Because it matches the shape of the the round the rounded fenders. This is exactly the same same one. See, uh, had I used this one, which it looked pretty good too, but I used this one. This is a little shorter with contours a little better, but then this doesn't really match that. You following what I'm saying? That looks pretty good too, though. Well, I can't decide really, but I think because this green thing I've had for so long, I kind of like the fact that it goes longer, you know? It, it gives the appearance of this being longer. So I think I'm gonna go with this.
Okay, I have it on jack stands and I've lowered it just so it, there's a line that I drew right there. I have to drill a couple of holes into there and throw some bolts in there. And that ought to hold that side. And then I'm gonna do the same to the other side. All right. So I used a couple of step bits, step drill bits. And I was able to drill two holes right in the center of this frame, right? That goes right into this frame and use the same size bolts that it's supposed to have. Uh, it's not 9 16, a little bit bigger than that. It's not 5 8. I mean, I don't think it is. But anyway, it, it's in there. And remember, this is just supposed to just hold on to it, you know, kind of like a trailer. Um, the wheels will support weight on that, you know what I mean? It, it's not meant to be structurally like part of this. I mean, I might do another bar that goes there, but really you don't need it. It's only supposed to be used as like a trailer, sort of, you know, it's just pulling this part behind. It's not being powered by anything or anything or anything. <laughs> that ought to do it. I'm going to do that to the other side too. Okay, we're on the right side now. And man, this one came out better than the other one. Uh, the the bolt went in, it's like those, it's not even a self-tapper, but it's like kind of sharp at the end. You guys know what I mean? Those big ones. And that drove right through there so much that it, that the, it bent it inwards. So you know that's solid right there. I'm pretty satisfied with the way that turned out. Uh, I'm pretty confident that that rear, rear end here the sixth set is securely onto this frame uh technically you could only just did one bolt and it would have you know just held it together but having two bolts on it is really secure yep so i'm going to put that wheel back on again um you know i i do need better tires because even though i put atf in these things that one over there is still leaking out so that was no good uh like I said, a work in progress though. I've got so much more to do, but the main structure of it is, is gonna be done today, which is great. All right, what do you guys think? You guys saw, right, when I was jacking it up, the rear went up with it, which tells you that it's solid on there. No drooping or anything, it's solid. I like, I like that rear fender now, when I reversed it like that, uh, it's level with that, with the rear. I, I think that's really cool. And also the distance between the two wheels, it's, uh, it's about two, two and a half inches. <laughs> that looks closer, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't think it'll make much difference. So I have to make this part a little... I have to build some kind of a bracket there that holds this on. Because this part is only held on by these two bolts here. Onto what used to be the seat. Uh, where the two springs go. That's where. That's what this bracket is from. Where the two springs that, that hold the seat. Like that. That's where that's bolted on. But this part here, I need to build some kind of a bracket that holds this back part more solid because it kind of wobbles a little. That looks pretty cool. Hmm. So uh, being that this theme is going to be a Humvee, right? This hood is kind of modern looking, kind of too rounded. I know from my other de desert sand uh, machine, I had the rounded hood. Boy, oh boy, what fun. Really fun. 
but I think this would mimic more better with a square kind of hood. Uh, you can make it look more like a uh, Humvee front. Uh, I'm going to stencil the grill of a Humvee and and paint over the uh, front end. So I'm going to try I'm going to try this hood. You guys tell me which one you like better. You guys tell me. Look look at it right now, right? Like this. all fit on LT-1000s. I see. So the air cleaner is in the way. Should I take the air cleaner off? Let's take the air cleaner off. It's, it's too fat. It's too wide. The air cleaner. So maybe if I take the air cleaner off. It still has studs there. Uh huh. Studs are in the way. Barely fits on this side, so we have to stretch it. Anyway, uh, or that. You like that better? What do you guys think? And then the Humvee is basically a round circle for the headlight. And then you have like vertical lines that go up like that. And picture this all desert sand color, you know, FDE. Field Dark Earth. Uh, what do you think? I'm going to let you guys decide, okay? Round. A is round. B is square. Leave it in the comments right now. What would you guys prefer? Uh, I mean, I could stretch this out to make it fit. That's what she said. <laughs> so don't worry about that. But uh, you guys let me know. Uh, interactive subscriber decision. A for round, the first one, or B for the square one. Or you can just type in the comments, round or square. I'm going to take the votes, I don't know, for a few days, whatever, and see if it's an overwhelmingly thing. You know, if I see everybody wants the round one, it makes it look better. Your opinion is that it looks better, right? Never mind um, that it matches a Humvee type theme. Just whatever looks better. Picture it. Like the original color, that, that the first one that I had, the desert sand color. You guys know what I'm talking about. That color. Anyway, tell me round or square, all right? And, uh, I don't know. It doesn't really fit all that well. I have to stretch it. Some of you guys may be wondering, you saw these yellow wheels to the side. What are they for? Well, actually, these yellow wheels are actually front wheels. If you guys have noticed, there are some John Deere tractors out there that have 8-inch front wheels and 12-inch rear wheels without having multiple lugs for the rears. Just one single. Uh, that's great. I wish I had four of those because if I had four of those, I'd put those in place of the 20s. I think those are 24s, which is really cool. I have two in the back, but I only have two. I need four but anyway, I was thinking maybe I'll put the 8-inchers to replace these 6-inch ones in the front. The bigger the better. Uh, and these are in good shape. I believe they all hold air, you know. But I'm not sure. I mean, they're designed for the front. So, but are John Deere, though. I don't know if they'll fit uh, Craftsman. Only one way to find out. I'm going to see if these things fit on here without having to grind down the hubs on those things. Which is what I did with the first... Uh, desert sand tractor that I made. I had to grind the hubs and I put 20s in the front, you know, which is really cool, but I don't want to want to ruin the wheels like that. And it's kind of wobbly too, because you never really grind it so smooth and perfect, you know, 
But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and see if these things fit on here. We've been testing this so much that I ran out of gas. I'm putting a little bit of this old gasoline injector cleaner that I got from someone, I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, it's clear, so it maybe just adds to the octane and uh, cleans out the carburetor, whatever. It's just sitting around this stuff. You guys ever seen this before? I've never seen it before. Anyway, I'm just using it. Just add to the gas, add to the combustibility. Hey, now there's now there's only one thing left to do after we found out that these things fit, huh? Does these look great or what? Put the uh, rounded hood back on here again, just for the effect, you know. But how about that? Look at that. Does that look nice? Do you guys think that looks good? <laughs> I think it looks great. What do you say we take it for a ride? I wonder if backing up in this thing's gonna be tricky. <laughs> For some strange reason, the rears are higher than the fronts, which is no good. So I might have to pump these up. Yeah, that's what I have to do. So this tire is leaking, right? This tire sucks. This tire is leaking too. The other side of this is also leaking. But the rear, the right most rear is good. So it was holding up that one. <laughs> So the tires were spinning. I just pumped it up, so let's see how, what happens now.
So because when you turn sharply, the rear swings out and the uh, C-clip that I had on there wasn't a good one. So I need to put a good C-clip on there. I don't even know the, where it went. All right, put a new C-clip up on there. Let's hope the wheel doesn't fall off again. So the rear does sway. It sways from the left to the right as you're turning. Nice wide turns would be okay. <laughs> uh oh, I lost the wheel. I guess maybe that's why there's there's nobody that has this out because it doesn't work. <laughs> make sure that you have a really strong c-clip <laughs> because when you turn sharply that rear swings out and wants to drag that wheel right off you know what i mean so that's interesting you guys think that because i put the bigger wheel in the front it makes the difference if i had smaller front wheels do you think it would still sway like that i think it still would but how about it guys what an experience this is the first time i've ever driven a six-wheeler ever in anything. I'm glad that I own it. Still a lot more touch-up stuff to do. Fabricating some brackets to hold that thing up. Fabricating some kind of a, uh, you know, rear dump cage place where you can put shit on, right? Uh, let me know again in the comments whether you like the round one or the square. Just write round or square or A or B. Uh, I like the front wheels that way. Uh, I have to figure out which wheel I want to swap out, you know, because I think because these are the only ones that drive, they should be good because if they leak air and the back one doesn't, this is just going to spin and I won't be able to go anywhere. But it's good to know that uh, the, the attaching the rear onto the frame is good. Otherwise, it wouldn't hold the weight of this. You know what I mean? So I, I think I did a good job securing that end to this end. 
I just got to work out which wheels are better or whatever. Um, you think if I had thinner or smaller rear wheels, it would be better? Like, what if I put, now you couldn't do that. I was thinking about putting front wheels in the back, right? Smaller front six inches, but they won't fit because there's no keys for those. So it can only be these, but what if I put 18s on? You think it would make a difference? I don't think it would because it's still wide, right? That wide. I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna have to not make sharp turns and have a very strong C-clip attaching the wheel on there. You know, this one didn't fall off. So I think it's just a C-clip that I have to make sure it's nice and tight on there. But how about it, guys? Uh, plenty of stuff to do, obviously painting it and, uh, and it still leaks a little oil from the cracks of the engine. What are you going to do, right? It was free. 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 The whole thing was free. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I love about it is that there's no loss if nothing works because it was free. You didn't put any money into it. I didn't put any money into it. The only thing I put into it is the new battery in there. $25. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Glad you guys, I can now actually put this in the thumbnail now. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Here at Mowers and Blowers, we push them into the garage, but they come out driving. You gotta go bing! Bing! Henry, address the bullet. <laughs> Hello, bullet! <laughs> Hello, bullet! Oh. Dead ski. Better?